I get a quite a bit of response from other LS swap videos on the uh, MSD6 LS, the ignition controller, and how to wire it. <clears throat> well, I'm not too much of a crit critically uh, savvy computer person, I mean, you can wire this thing in your sleep. For starters, obviously, the box I mounted on the inner fender well uh, keeps, the, uh, keeps the box nice and cool as opposed to the mounting pad where they put it on the intake. I like to keep my electronics cool. Give you a nice factory harness. I'm sorry, a harness with the factory connectors. Harness runs back here. It runs, I gotta run it all the way back here where it's by the um, tranny dipstick where it splits off. You've got two smaller harnesses with the GM weather pack connectors that plug in to your coils. These are like factory replacement uh, harness connectors. Real cool. You get two of them, and these are even, if you look down here where my thumb is, they're labeled as to um, which bank of coils gets plugged into where. Idiot proof. Going over here. Same deal. Passenger side, clearly labeled. There's your map sensor. This is for your the vacuum advance. It gets programmed into the box. So it's you get one, two, two coil harnesses, clearly marked. Map sensor, which I plug right in the side of the manifold. Down below, uh, it's gonna be tough to see where my finger's pointing. There's your cam sensor, factory cam sensor, three wires, clearly marked. But then it's got its connector, appropriate connector for it. And then this one's this one's gonna be impossible to see. There's a, another harness that comes off the back here, where my finger's pointing. It's covered in high temperature, special uh, a special sleeve. That's for the crank sensor. Also, three wire harness, clearly marked. The crank sensor on the LS motors, for those that do not know, is way down near the starter because it needs to get the reference signal off the road, the reluctor ring off the crankshaft. Super simple. Um, as for wiring this bad boy. Right here. Here's where it gets really easy. Uh, here's your power wire. Pink is power, obviously. Yellow is for your tack signal. You run that, I ran it for my tachometer. And you can also use that, say, if you have like a mega squirt or something, that'll give you your, you know, your tack signal for that too. You can splice into that. Two grounds. I got them grounded here to the coil bracket, but I also ran another ground wire directly to the battery. With the MSD6 LS, this is incredibly important. You, it's, you need to have a good ground. These boxes, if they have even a borderline ground, or even if you ground it to the block, eh, not a good idea. Best thing to do is ground it directly to the battery. Um, but for the wiring, that's all it is. It's incredibly simple. I uh, used to have an HEI, you know, when I had a uh, 455 in here. And this is the original 12 volt power wire that went to the HEI. That's what I used for the uh, box. So it's a you know nice keyed on with a good thick wire to provide a good uh, 12, volt, 12 volt source. Also, there's another spout. Two wires come out of here for your. There's a two stage rev limiter you can set set up, which is cool for drag racing. Also, there's a DIN 9 port, um, serial port. Make sure if you use a laptop, best thing to do is use an older laptop like Windows 2000 or XP. I know it sounds archaic, but the box is it's kind of like old tech in a way. It's a little bit outdated. I have a brand new laptop, and I could not get it to uh, blink. I'm using a USB to DIN, DIN 9 cable, no matter what I did. I mean, I'm sure there's more. Like I said, I'm not the most computer intelligent person in the world. Someone should, should be able to figure out, but for those that like me, just grab an old, old laptop with a serial port. Programming this thing is super simple. I set my own curve, bump the rev limiter to 6200 RPM. Game on. This has a factory built-in 5500 RPM rev limiter, which is kind of nice.
in a way. If you have to call a stock motor, but most of us don't leave these things stock. That's pretty much it. The wiring is idiot proof. I mean, changing this to a distributor would be ridiculous. I mean, you're going to spend 1400 bucks easy on parts for a distributor. And this box is only about $300. For the price, it's totally worth it. Any questions, hit me up. Thanks for watching, fellas.